The U.S. Navy has awarded its largest ever shipbuilding contract to General Dynamics Electric Boat. The contract, worth $22.2 billion, will see the construction of nine Block 5 Virginia-class attack submarines. The deal has the provision for the U.S. Navy to add a tenth boat, which will increase the pricing by $2 billion. The contract is for two fewer boats than the 11 proposed by the U.S. Navy in this year's budget submission. The U.S. Navy's top acquisition official, James Gertz, stated during a roundtable with members of the media, A lot of hard work across the whole team to structure the contract in such a way as to balance risk between the government and the shipbuilder. If the shipbuilder delivers on target, the multi-year savings will be 16.5% or $4.4 billion in savings. So it's a pretty important day for us. It's critical to note that the Block 5 subs will be significantly more potent than the earlier ones. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes the impact of the U.S. Navy getting nine Block 5 Virginia-class attack submarines. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. The Virginia class, sometimes referred to as SSN-774 class, is a class of nuclear-powered fast attack submarines in service with the United States Navy. Virginia class is designed to replace older Los Angeles class submarines, many of which have already been decommissioned. The Virginia class was intended in part as a less expensive alternative to the Sea Wolf class submarines whose production run was stopped after just three boats had been completed. The submarines of Virginia class are designed for a broad spectrum of open ocean and littoral missions. Their primary purpose is to take out enemy surface combatants and submarines and the secondary task is to execute land attack missions. The Virginia class ushered in many technological advances in submarine construction. It's the first to use photonic sensors instead of a traditional periscope. The class is equipped with high-resolution cameras along with light intensification and infrared sensors, as well as an infrared laser rangefinder. Starting Block 4, the submarines incorporate a large aperture bow water-backed array which replaces the traditional air-backed spherical array. This main sonar is one of the most powerful sonars mounted in any of the submarines in the world. The Virginia class is built through an industrial arrangement designed to maintain both General Dynamics Electric Boat and Huntington Ingalls Newport News, the only two U.S. shipyards capable of building nuclear-powered submarines. The facilities alternate work on the reactor plant as well as the final assembly, test, outfit, and delivery. In the briefing, U.S. Navy officials stated that if the service opts for all ten boats, six of the boats would be constructed at Huntington Ingalls Newport News and four would be built at Electric Boat. The move to direct more work to Newport News is done to balance the increased workload at Electric Boat with the start of the construction of Columbia-class submarines. Viewers may note that the Columbia class is the next generation of ballistic missile submarines slated to begin construction this year. To know more, please check the video on the above card. Block 5 will see many upgrades, the most important of which is the Virginia Payload Module, or VPM, which will increase the land attack capacity. In 1994, the Nuclear Posture Review Study determined that 14 of the 18 Ohio SSBNs of the U.S. Navy would be sufficient for the strategic needs of nuclear deterrence. 
the decision was made to convert four Ohio class boats into SSGNs capable of conducting conventional land attack and special operations. As a result, the four oldest boats of the class, Ohio, Michigan, Florida, and Georgia, progressively entered the conversion process in late 2002 and were returned to active service by 2008. The boats could thereafter carry 154 Tomahawk cruise missiles and 66 special operations personnel, among other capabilities and upgrades. But these boats will have to slowly be decommissioned and the reduction in land attack capability will be taken care of by Block 5 with VPM. The first boat in Block 5, SSN-802, is currently under construction but does not have VPM. The next boat, starting with 803, will have VPM. An 85-foot section will be added to eight new Virginia submarines. This will add more capabilities like enabling them to have VPM, carry more weapons, and deliver special operations forces. Incorporating the section will involve putting more efforts into construction and add about $500 million to the cost bringing the total price per submarine to $3.2 billion. The addition of the section is expected to increase the length from 377 foot to 460 foot and displacement from around 7,800 tons to 10,200 tons. All the boats will have an upgraded acoustic suite when compared to Block 4. Virginia class Block 5 will be even more deadly when compared to previous variants. The Block 3 and 4 submarines have two multi-purpose Virginia payload tubes VPT, replacing the dozen single-purpose cruise missile launch tubes. Each of these is capable of launching six Tomahawk cruise missiles. The additional Virginia payload module VPM, in Block 5 will add four more VPTs of the same diameter and greater height. Each of the new VPT can carry seven missiles apiece and could be used for Tomahawk submarine launch cruise missiles, unmanned undersea vehicles, as well as could potentially carry non-nuclear, medium-ranged ballistic missiles. Tomahawk is a long-range, all-weather cruise missile that's used for land-based attacks. It has subsonic speed and a long range of 2,500 kilometers or around 1,550 miles. Two. Four 533mm torpedo tubes for the Mark 48 torpedo. There's a capacity to carry up to 26 Mark 48 torpedoes in the weapons chamber. These torpedoes have a range in excess of 50 kilometers or 31 miles and can be used to take out enemy submarines and surface vessels. Three, the boats will also be able to lay different types of mines, including the Mark 60 Captor encapsulated torpedo mines. Four, an integral lockout lock-in chamber is incorporated into the hull for special operations. The chamber can host a mini submarine, such as Northrop Grumman's Advanced Seals Delivery System, that can be used to transport special warfare forces, such as Navy SEAL teams. The near peer rivals of the US, Russia, and China. Are going ahead with the construction of several new subs. Russia plans to build a total of eight Yasin M class submarines, which are intended to destroy U.S. aircraft carriers. The latest Kilo class submarine of the Russian fleet is also a force to take note of. Though Kilo class is nothing new and has been around in some form or another since the 1980s, the newest six submarines of this class represent a significant evolution. Russia is also building the Borai class, which will be Russia's new generation of ballistic missile submarines, the future cornerstone and most survivable part of its nuclear arsenal. Chinese Navy has been given special attention and is getting a good share of the military budget. It's developing a wide range of conventional as well as nuclear-powered submarines. In this situation, the addition of nine or possibly ten new Block 5 Virginia class submarines will make sure that U.S. Navy's undersea fleet will remain the best when it comes to quantity as well as quality. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and 
kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.